Hey, what's up guys? Happy Halloween. Today, I'm gonna be a powerlifter, and this is my costume. Hope you guys are really safe tonight when we go trick or treating, because there are a bunch of weirdos out there. So make sure you check your candy for no weird razor blades or needles. Today is actually a powerlifting meet, and for those of you guys that are like, what the fuck, what? How come I didn't know you're competing? Well, I did announce it a while back, um, but because this one isn't something where I'm gonna hit PRs at, I didn't do a weekly update on my training. And as you guys know, I know you guys follow my Instagram and the vlog channel. I had a ton of stuff going on, went to Japan, went to Vegas, got sick and all that. So I had about six weeks of training removed from the block that I needed. Um, but because I signed up for it, I still wanted to do it. And it's always a goal of mine to compete at least once a year. So I stay sharp, which is how the sport is going. I like to watch people, I like to see how everything is ran so I know what the needs of the members and the gym and the sport are. And so I'm competing. Um, and like any other competition, I think you always should try to go nine for nine. So my openers are gonna be 380 for squat, 290 for bench, and uh, 480 for deadlift. And a lot of you guys are like, Fart, I know you could hit way more than that. I've seen you hit that at 181 before. And or your opener's even higher than that at 181 and you're 198 today. You're very right, you're true. Um, but right now, uh, because powerlifting isn't my main focus, I wanna be able to compete today and immediately tomorrow start training hard again and keep going. And uh, I wanna get lean, I wanna get more athletic, I wanna be better at my kickboxing, meanwhile still trying to build strength. So um, I don't wanna find myself completely where I'm just dead the rest of the week. So that's my goal in today's meet. Still kinda heavy. I just finished my first attempt and I got red lighted. This is pretty crazy. Um, I mean, it felt like I hit depth, but I don't know. But it really felt like I hit depth, so me being a good boy, I'm gonna retake it and really try to sink it and hopefully I get it on the next one. Go, Bart! I tried to go as deep as I could. What happened? So the first one I went, I thought I went deep, but it wasn't deep enough. So this one I went till my heels like touched my ass as deep as I could. And I finally got it. So I guess I have to keep hitting it that deep. California.
I try to go as deep as possible, and I think my ass kissed the floor a little bit. So at least I got it, and uh, I got four two for my third attempt. I thought it was gonna be like a straight up like joke. Uh, I'm, I'm just having a, a fun meet, you know? But I think because I rested a long time, it was actually kind of heavy. But uh, I went up just a little bit, just having a good meet. So it should be, it should be pretty good. I fucked up. Uh, my back started cramping a little bit, so I gave a little bit more hip drive, and then my butt left the bench. So it gave me a red light, so I gotta do it over again. Damn. Blee killed it, though. Yeah, how was yesterday? Uh, I had what they would call a perfect game. 27 white line. Nine out of nine. Well, I'm really sore, and I'm like, I'm tired today. What if I bench you? Like, like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, the deadlifts is always my favorite part of it because your first two lifts are already done so it's just a really fun one and on squat and bench you always have to preload the weight and you have to worry about the eccentric movements you always have to worry about the weight coming down before you blast up deadlift i love because you don't have to worry about that it's already on the floor you just grab it and rip it so and deadlift is what i'm usually strong at usually so it should be fun my opener is 480 and then we'll go from there
Good job. Great. Huh? Oh, here you go, Great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey. 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 How'd the first attempt go? Oh, uh, it actually felt pretty good. It felt lighter than my last warm up, so that feels good. Um, I'll hit probably I'll hit 501, and then uh, we'll see. We'll go from there. But I might even just call it because I do want to train tomorrow immediately. So I'll see. I'll see how it goes. Uh, maybe like 80 pounds lighter. Uh, the meet was really fun. First time doing the meet at my own gym, and it does feel, on one side it feels really familiar, like I've been lifting here my pretty much my whole life. Not life, but you like, you guys know what I'm talking about. I've been living here a lot, long time, um, but to also lift in the back with that environment, it's really, really cool, and to see friends pop through, like Casey Mitchell, One Legged Monster came through, Big Boy came through to compete. Um, it's really cool, and just seeing old friends, that huge Asian guy, shout out to Andy. It's really, really cool, um, and even though I didn't hit any PRs, um, doing a meet kind of reminded me reminded me how I need to train. Because as you guys know, I've been traveling like crazy, so I've been doing a more of a Bulgarian style. I've been minimizing volume just so I could fit everything else in. And then after doing six sets of pretty much maxes on the squat and bench, when I hit deadlift, I was like, oh, this is why you need so much volume because we're hitting nine sets today. And so it, it was good. That's why I always like competing once a year, regardless if it's PRs or not, just because it reminds me of how I need to train if I want to be better. All in all, I think I had a really good meet. Um, even though I had some technical difficulties, I still had a great team. Everyone's here supporting, cheering, yelling my name. It makes me feel really good. And um, the meets always tell you exactly what you have to work on. And so now, more than ever, I know what to do. And I'm going to work on it.